Hi, it's Sue here from the Unicorn Advisory, your trusted Kajabi expert with a Kajabi quick tip for you. Now, when you are creating an online course in Kajabi, often you will want to use thumbnail to make your course area look really consistent and lovely. Now, whether you use photos like this or whether you use some kind of uh, graphic like this, using those can be really helpful. However, it is an extra step and it's something else to do. And when you are doing something that's quick and you are doing minimum viable and you just want to get it up and you don't want to have the hassle of having to create additional thumbnails, I've got a really awesome quick workaround for you. So you want to come into the lesson area of the lesson that you want to add a thumbnail to. Now, you still may need to create thumbnails for your categories because you can only use this trick where you have a video. But let's say we've got a video in our lesson. So I'll just go and choose a recent file and we'll just pick um, a video. So we'll just pop this one here so we can see what happens. That one's not going to take long to load. It's already in Kajabi. Now, with this video, this, um, this slide here, if we start playing it, then we will have the front slide for our video. So, um, you know, you may even have um, like a title slide. Maybe it's a picture of you at the beginning that you can use. Wherever you press pause on that video, so I just, um, I won't play it again because the noise is a little bit loud on the video, but you can play that through to wherever you want, press pause, and then opt for use current frame as thumbnail. And what that will do is it will determine for Kajabi to show exactly what you want in the thumbnail, and it won't just have the thumbnail in a random place, for example, if your mouth is half open or your eyes are shut or some other random place in the video that just doesn't look so nice. So now we have set that this specific part of the video will be the thumbnail. So if you've already created slides and you already have those title slides on your video, this is perfect because you don't then have to go one by one and upload individual thumbnails. You can just use current frame as thumbnail and it's also the perfect way if you're trying to get something up really quickly because you can always go back and jazz it up later and add those branded thumbnails if you want to. That is your quick tip for today. I hope you found that helpful. If you would like additional help, please do get in touch. Make sure you follow and subscribe to this channel. I always appreciate it when I get new subscribers. And you can get these quick tips straight to your inbox twice a week. Just go to theunicornadvisory.com slash quick tips and make sure to get on the quick tips newsletter list. Sue from the Unicorn Advisory. See you next time.